<laughs> what's up everybody it's your girl be back with another video okay so i'm exhausted all right so we're just gonna do a quick little energy check see what's going on with you guys it's been a couple of days since i've done a reading so i've been actually when i turned the camera on of like I was just thinking about of like how people view you or something like that or I kind of want to do something along the lines of what people aren't telling you right now or how people are seeing you something like that it's coming to mind now so let's look at the energy so um let's see we're just gonna get right into it actually I'm gonna do some channel messages let's see what people don't tell you what how people are viewing you what's going on in your life what's what's going on emotional maturity and transformation are flipped over in the deck oops upside down <laughs> um so you could be definitely people are seeing you all right off the bat people are seeing you as somebody who has transformed um emotionally you have overcome you're the only person that can tame me is another card blessed let's see the other one i want to have fun with you those are the cards that were flipped over in, in the deck i know my hands are my hands are probably all nasty i'd be working way too much okay um so we're gonna just take this as what the overall energy of what how people are viewing you now or how people are seeing you i just keep looking at this thing <laughs> Um, so emotional maturity and transformation. So people are definitely seeing you as somebody who has transformed. Um, you've matured. You've gone through experiences maybe that have helped you um, have an understanding of people, things. Um, when you go through, when you go through um, hard times or like don't look at my bed <laughs> when you go through um difficult times or like when you go through like moments of like wanting to give up or like stuff that really tests you and tests your patience tests your um test your faith test your tests your ability to like forgive um, sorry, I just moved that. I feel like it takes a lot out of somebody um, to not become jaded or not become somebody who just sees life as like F the world. Um, I think that it takes a lot of um, when you go through things. I, I've learned this when you go through hard situations. You can easily be like, uh, um, like you can take like, oh, I went through this because I've, I've done that. I've, I've been there and I still do. We all do that. But it's like, why oh, this happened to me? So like scammed, hmm. speaking of when you feel scammed in life, scammed by somebody, scammed by people, scammed by your money, scammed in general. When you feel like you've been taken advantage of those moments really teach you for the next time. And now I'm just thinking about like in my events or something which God forbid, like, you know, if anything were to ever happen, which what I'm saying is if it, in general, anybody, if anybody scams anybody, like, just understand that, like, that, you take that as, like, okay, now I'm thinking of, they say, oh, how do you, I don't trust anybody, because I really don't, I don't trust anyone, I don't, <laughs> I don't care if I've known you a billion years, I don't trust, because, um, but that's not, it's not, like, that's still something that I'm working on, but that's like, you know, cause I have a lot of things that I, in my own mind that I need to work through, but we all have something, the third house, your ideas, get your ideas going. So maybe you guys have some ideas. Um, what I was thinking of was, um, when they say, if somebody betrays you, um, like you have to, um, be able to handle, um, how you're going to react if somebody were to betray you. It's not an action, like it's not something that's shown your character. It doesn't show your character if somebody betrays you. What shows your character is how you handle a situation or how you handle a, an injustice in your life is how your character, how you portray it is how you will receive, you know, your blessings or your karma or your whatever, or your judgment. Anyways, I really wanted to make this video kind of short because I got to get in the shower right now. Okay, 
So you could be a Libra and you could be an Aries or you could be a Pisces is coming to mind. Maybe there's something that's been is, that has come to an end. Maybe whether whether it be whether it be like you're not cold anymore, or you're starting to be more open or loving or something. Maybe um maybe asking because judgment is underneath here so that asks for second chances so maybe you're trying to heal something and ask for a second chance maybe you are realizing like when you betray or when you do something to somebody who's good or who is only wanting good for their life or to better themselves um sometimes we don't understand what when we betray someone or when we hurt somebody's feelings it can be done unintentionally but we later on in life we can be like oh that probably wasn't the best situation um or that probably i probably didn't handle that in the best way that i could and that's when you learn and you, the next time you don't do that so that you know it's a lesson learned you're a badass being full of life love and possibilities <laughs> so we got the ace of wands and we got the ten of pentacles you could definitely be a fire sign or you could be a leo um, you could be you could be healing from some sort of heartbreak. Um, maybe you walked away from something that maybe you felt like there was a lot of stability with us. You guys can't see it, but um, let's see. Okay, so there could have been a situation where somebody was like sitting pretty and like they didn't want to do anything. Um, like they, it's their way my way or the highway that's what i'm getting i feel like you are staying strong or this could be that you are staying strong and like firm in your boundaries and like you're walking away from it could be family it could be something that like you was very stable for you but like it just was things could be stable but they could be energetically like toxic if you know what i mean look maybe it gave you a lot of anxiety um maybe the situation maybe um maybe you feel like this could be a missed opportunity or something like that oh maybe this is in the future maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past my bad maybe there was a missed opportunity missed opportunity in the past maybe you didn't take like a passionate new beginning because i i have the ace of wands here but it's clarified by the three of swords let me move this um and so what I, how I see that as maybe there was an opportunity that was presented to you and maybe you didn't take it or something or something like that. Um, but anyway, so you're walking away from something. Maybe this could have created a 10 of pentacles for you. This could have created something that was very stable for you, but you ended up walking away or something like that. Something to do with like family, stability, you're standing strong in what you believe in. And I feel like when you do that, you are, you, sometimes they say like you're being selfish when you're choosing yourself, but it is selfish. But like when, okay, it's not okay to like disregard everybody, disregard life, people, and just like be selfish in that way of like only thinking about yourself. Absolutely not. That's very, no, that's a no go. I don't like selfish people. I think selfish people are just like, yeah, no. I don't vibe with it. Like, I'm all about giving. If I don't get anything back, honestly, I've given, given, given in situations and received nothing back. But I know that I can walk away and be like, you know, it's a lesson learned. I can't be giving into a situation. Like, we learn these things, even not just romantically, friendship-wise. When you continue to try to work at a friendship or a situation, a work situation, like, no or even a family member like somebody that you kind of are on and off don't get along with or something like that sometimes you have to like take a step back and be like okay boundaries like obviously i'm the only one that really texts or puts in from like puts in energy to like um i'm getting this is like you're maybe the only person that puts in the energy or some maybe this is just not an equal give and take or this could have been in the past i feel like now with this is the future energy um, three of Wands is future, so maybe somebody's making plans, or maybe you are making your own plans to fill your own cup. That's what I'm getting. You fill your own cup. If not, if somebody doesn't fill it up for you, you don't need to. You can fill your own cup. I feel like maybe you were in a lot of anxiety in the past. The Five of Cups is on the bottom. Um, maybe after, maybe there was a lot of deception. Maybe there was a lot. There was a lot of toxicity in a 
relationship. You could have been de- dealing with a Leo. Definitely, you could be, could have been dealing with dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, um, and fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, yeah. So let's see. I feel like people see you as like, uh, which was what I was getting from the, in the beginning. Maybe you uh, holds back from people, King of Swords. Um, but I feel like people ultimately see you like you've ended situations, but you still come out on top. That's what I get. Yeah, I see Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You guys definitely have ended some sort of, I don't know, something. Maybe somebody's going to be coming in very quickly because we got the Knight of Swords, which is an impulsive, maybe to share some sort of love offer or like a reciprocation and like emotion. I feel like you're healing or it, this person gets stuck in their head. See, they're just laying in bed and like put their hands on their head like, oh, what did I do? How am I going to fix this? Something like that. Maybe this created, maybe that was a situation that created you to, that created stagnancy in your life. Um, but maybe you just need to heal or something. Maybe there's just some more healing that needs to be done. I feel like you are staying, st I feel like you are, um, if you're not withdrawing from people, you're just a, a more reserved person and like you don't, sh you don't talk to a lot of people or you don't tell your business to a lot of people. Very much like me. Knight of Wands is somebody who is the life of the party. <laughs> But um, Knight of Wands is somebody could have been, you could have had a lot of options or you can have a lot of options. doesn't have to be romantically, maybe in, in regards to work, but the Knight of Wands is a like, um, like a sexual energy. <laughs> um, the Justice card. I feel like you were balancing maybe, maybe you were trying, learning how to balance like, um, like your life, like balancing out the Empress at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, I feel like someone, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Empress, I feel like somebody definitely owes you or is going to be giving you an apology, whether it's you, you could be a feminine or a masculine, take it, he or she, whatever energy resonates, flip it if it's not, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> um, I just saw 1212 on the phone, so you could be mirroring your person. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to juggle, if it's not like, maybe you have an idea in your head and you don't know, you're like juggling what to do if you guys are trying to plan something maybe you guys have maybe there was some sort of heartbreak in the past and you have let your person heal from this and you are trying to let you walked away from this person and this person let you heal or you have healed from the situation take the energy as it resonates and i feel like now this person that truth maybe they this person sees you as the truth maybe they see you working really hard and I feel like you are balanced, definitely balanced. I feel like this person didn't make a decision in the past, but I feel like now they really see you as somebody that's stable, that's somebody that, like, you, it, it takes, like, you can only fake for so long. So when you are steady, move, you're in steady progress and you're doing everything that you need to do and, like, your energy hasn't changed, that means that this is your true energy. So it's like, I feel like, Maybe other people, maybe people didn't see you as like, maybe they were just trying to like speculate or something. That's the word that I'm getting. Like speculate or like saying like, oh, like she's not spiritual. This is only, I can only speak for myself. Like, you know, um, I've gone through a lot of situations in the past that you would have never thought that. I mean, I, even, even now, like I'm not to say that I have finished healing. Nobody has, but I think that um, mentally, when you can get yourself to like a level head or like balance out your own energy, it's like 100% like, like the key to, to like your mental health or to like, um, not getting stuck in your head. That's my advice anyway. So I feel like maybe people, this is in the past. Um, maybe you are just, you're just more mature and people are seeing you as somebody who is living in your truth and, uh, yeah. Anyways, all right, I'm going to, let me leave you guys with one of these. Okay. One card, spirit. Ooh, release your ex. So maybe you guys are, but we were talking about somebody walked away worth waiting for. Maybe in order to receive what you guys have been asking for, there needs to be some sort of release of a past energy or somebody that is keeping you stuck or that's keep in order like we've said this this is this is known love yourself first you definitely have to remove the things it's like a box 
and the box is filled with like you know the i've seen this a video like this is the box is full of the air the plastic the air that you get in like your boxes of when you get like a delivery you got to take that out it's just air and you got to make room for what it is that you really want so maybe and ser sep serendipity is at the bottom of this deck i never know how to say it anyways all right i'm gonna let you guys go let me know if this resonates like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one take care bye